Well, I'd always known it was nonsense. Um, well, I said it always known. When I was at medical school, I was taught by everybody else, you know, if you eat too much fat, saturated fat, it raises your blood cholesterol, which is deposited in the arteries, leading to thickenings called atherosclerosis, and eventually these become so thick that you die. That was, that was it. That was the message. Uh, I had no reason to doubt it at the time. You know, if you're going to pass an exam, cholesterol, heart disease. Um, and then, uh, but I live in Scotland, uh, born and bred. And at the time I was at medical school, which is 90, early 1980s, uh, Scotland had the highest rate of heart disease in the world. Um, specifically the west side of Scotland, although I didn't actually live there. Um, and uh, the, the message was all oh, the terrible Scots diet, and all the deep fried Mars bars and stuff like this, which is all complete nonsense, of course. But I, I was aware, because I went to France quite a lot, for various reasons, holidays, skiing, blah, blah, blah. And when you went to France, I looked, I looked at you sort of around the restaurants and think, these people seem to eat quite a lot of saturated fat to me. In fact, an awful lot. Mm. They slather everything in butter and it's cream and meat, and, you know. I mean, the French are known for that, right? For their rich the food. Well, well, in that. fact, at that time, if you went to a French restaurant and asked for a vegetarian meal, mm. they just took the meat off the plate and gave you what was left. There was no such thing. And there still is, it's very, you know, the, anyway. So I started looking at the, the 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 dietary stuff, and it was clear the French ate more saturated fat than the Scots, not much more, but a bit more. Um, the cholesterol levels were identical, and the rate of heart disease in Scotland was age matched, five times higher, five times higher. And in fact, Scottish women had higher rates of heart disease than French men, and women are supposed to be protected against heart disease at certain ages. So I began to think not really working this for me. So then I started going into it uh, in more and more detail, really. And I started thinking, well, so how does saturated fat-based cholesterol? And what is cholesterol in your blood anyway? And yeah. all these things that actually seem to be almost impossible for people to find out. And I gradually just came, I, I wrote a couple of papers. I wrote a medical hypothesis paper looking at France and Scotland and saying, you know, there's no difference. The rate of smoking, the French smoked a bit more rate of obesity at the time was the same, cholesterol level, blood pressure, all the standard risk factors. In fact, the standard risk factors were so close together that I, I like to joke, you can get a cigarette paper between them. But um, but if anything, they were worse for France. So if you took a French series of risk factors and put them into a risk calculator, which didn't exist at the time, and took the Scottish risk factors on general, put them in a risk factor, the French would score higher. Either way, they should have more heart disease. Mm. Uh, and yet they were getting far less and uh, continued to do so. So I started really beginning to look into this and thinking, you know what? And I read a book called uh, Eat Your Heart Out by uh, a doctor called James Lafanu, who um, writes for the, or did write for the Daily Telegraph. And I spoke mm. to him and he basically said the diet part of the hypothesis is bunk. Mm. And I started to go into this it's a bit like the red pill and the blue pill in the matrix you know if you take the blue pill you carry on and everything's fine you question nothing the world is makes sense in some weird fashion you take the red pill and it's like hold on so i then began to think well if that saturated fat is supposed to raise cholesterol and cholesterol kills you from heart disease and this is the primary cause of heart disease and there is no association between saturated fat consumption and death in any country that i can find in fact, the exact opposite in many cases, then surely the cholesterol hypothesis must be resting on shaky foundations, should we say? 